Hey guys, it's Wild, and welcome to some live showdown. I didn't even set up yet, but yeah, some live showdown here for you guys because now that I got some teams to work with, I figure we can do some, but uh, anyways, we're gonna do some UU today with a team that was given to me by a good buddy, Gilderon. Um, yeah, it's a UU team. Uh, just quick run through of it. Uh, Life Report Attack Mianchao. I think it's a Defensive Blastoise. Yeah, Defensive Blastoise. Yeah, I guess you can see my sets here well enough. Um, Floor geese, I guess, kind of defensive too, but I guess it's got high enough special defense stat where it's okay. Uh, Life Orb 4 Attack Nido King, uh, Trick Scarf Miss Magius, and then a uh, standard Metagross, I guess, with Balloon, but uh, yeah, it's a UU team, and I've been wanting to play in UU for a while, so that's why I'm doing this first, so let's uh, play around and see what's going on. Alright. Interesting first team matchup question is what the best thing to do is. He's probably going to lead with one of these three. So I think Nido King is going to be the best lead. I was kind of close. But this still is not bad because I can still Earth Power. Wait a second. Fortress is UU. You, you. Damn. That be interesting. Um, Alright. So Florgies has Aromatherapy. So I'm okay staying in with Whimsicott and just hitting with a Flamethrower. He gives me a choice scarf, which is fine, because Nido King really doesn't mind that at all. Oh wait, I could have sludge waved. But Chandelure comes in now. I mean it's obvious I'm going after Blastoise, but it's my best move still. He's just got like a team of trick scarfers or some shit, it seems like. Uh Gastrodon could come in, but I have no reason to do anything else. Um I mean, my best move is to just go for Roar in case he. Actually, I don't even know, because if Gastrodon comes in, oh well, but I didn't make the right move in Roaring, it's just, I really wish I had Toxic on this thing, I really do. But uh, we'll go to Nido King right here, because he has nothing on his team that can resist the Earth Power. I mean, there's things that can most likely take it, it's just nothing resists it. So we'll just hit him with an Earth Power right here. Uh, it'll still do a good chunk, even though I don't have the Life Orb anymore because of the Sheer Force, so... Gastron comes in. Holy fuck! If I had a life orb right now. Yeah. Confusion's gone though. I basically need to loam into a full sense of security or get a special defense drop. So, I'm just gonna keep Earth Powering. I have no reason not to. If he at any point goes for an attacking move, I'm perfectly okay. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I have nothing better to switch to as a problem, so I really just want to keep Earth Powering, because it seems like the best move to go for. God damn, though. Nido King is going to be good in UU, I can already tell. Yeah, he just Earth Powers me. I mean, he has no Hazard set up yet, and I do still have a Spinner in Blastoise, but I get rid of Gastronon, so that's going to give me a lot of leeway for the rest of the game. But, uh... Oh yeah, and Fortress doesn't have Ghost Resist anymore. That's actually really cool. Yeah, well, I mean, it's cool for me because I have good enough synergy to take it on now. Or take it on with his team. But anyways, uh, this guy's team. Let's see, his likely leads are Crobat, Celebi, or even Heracross. I mean, it's most likely going to be Crobat, so we'll just go with Metagross. It seems smart. I mean, he'll break my bull. Okay, he left with Heracross. I think the best move here is to... He has no spinner. God damn it. Why? I was gonna actually start being smart, but then I couldn't, because he quit. Okay, now. <laughs> God, just seeing Bronzong and Metagross in UU, that fucking takes me back, man. Like, you guys have no idea, because uh, that, that was just my old school shit, you know? Bronzong and Metagross and OU to the biggest leads in the game and you know they're really used so it's just like just seeing them in fucking UU it's just takes me back man more or less to fourth gen days where it's like oh these guys used to actually be really good but I get rocks up he gets a reflect up I'm just trying to think uh if he does not have a way to uh I said that I enunciated that really weird but if he doesn't have a way to uh status my Blastoise right off the bat or stop him from roaring then I should generally be okay, because the only thing I'm worried about is a Scrafty, essentially, so 
basically what I gotta do is... Well, I'm going out to Blastoise right here because... I mean, yeah, he sets up both screens, that's fine. I basically want to get an early in with Blastoise. Maybe get a burn on this Bronzong. I don't care about the hazards, like... Honestly, there's no reason for this Blastoise to really even have spinning... Or, rapid spin, but I guess it's just in case, uh... It's needed, but it's not really needed, as from what I can tell for this team. I mean, I get why still. There might also be a factor of... Uh, you know, another thing I'm not sure of, if, uh... Fuck, I'm just thinking, but, uh... What I'm thinking of trying to say is something about something. No, but... The factor of... Shit, that was a bad move. Not that, but, uh... Fuck, what am I trying to say? I can't think right now. What the fuck? Uh... The factor of... I... <laughs> I don't even know what I was trying to get at! Um... Yeah, I, I'm not even gonna try and fucking bother anymore. I don't even know what I was fine, trying to fucking say. But, whatever. God damn it! I was really hoping I was gonna live that second one. I really shouldn't have put any stock in it, but I wanted to try. Uh, I doubt he's gonna want to stay in, but I have no idea what he's gonna switch to, if anything. So let's just go flamethrower. Yeah, that was a bad move anyways. He just scalds me. I live it pretty decently, and I get most of my health back from Wish. His Reflect is gone, which means his Light Screen will be gone in the next turn. But, uh, I can live another hit. That's fine. Light Screen is now gone. Um, he's most likely going back to Bronzong, but at the same time, I didn't really want to risk it. But yeah, I mean, he's obviously got Levitate. There's no reason he wouldn't have Levitate, but that is a good chunk. I mean, he's only going to get Light Screen up, and then from there, I should be okay still. I mean, he can go into the Scrafty and try and set up, but Blastoise is at an amount of health I don't really like. So that's kind of the problem, but I'm going to have to go into that and hope for the best. Dragon Dance, so I should be safe enough. Um, so I'm just thinking. Because the only thing I'm really fearing right now is that. Like, that's the main fear I'm having in the back of my head, is that Manek trick. But, uh... Yeah, now it's in, so I gotta do something about it. I'm just gonna have to stand and try and roar. I mean, he's obviously going for Volt Switch, and there's nothing I could do about it, because even if I switched in Nido King, it wouldn't have really mattered. So, yeah, my best move was just to stay in. Uh, however, I have no idea what he's gonna do next. If I were him, I would go out to... I don't even know what. Like, I'm honestly stumped at this point, too. Uh, I still gotta just figure out how to deal with this shit. Oh shit, I just realized this Miss Magius has Dazzling Gleam. That'll be useful. Alright, so Dreyalgi comes in. Uh, he has no ground resist, so let's go into Nido King because I know it can take him down with Earth Power. And even if he switches in anything else, I'll be okay. Uh, but I know Scrafty can come in right now. Uh, let's see, typical Scrafty. I think I can outspeed it after two Dragon Dances with Miss Magius, but I'm not sure. Um, I mean, if he's smart, he's gonna go into Scrafty. But I should have gone. I mean, the thing is, I it might have been smart to go into Miss Magius, but he had the screens up, so that's kind of the problem there. He goes into Frostlass, so I can go into Metagross the... Well, no, then there's a problem that he'll, uh... Yeah, he has Shadow Ball. Obviously, he's gonna have Shadow Ball, but, uh... Mian Xiao can take a hit, so I think that's my best move to do right now. As weird as it sounds... It's like... And Mian Xiao is knockoff, so that makes it an amazing fucking Pokemon. Just saying. But, uh, no. I'm gonna go for the knockoff. Uh, not... I mean... Shit, he had Psychic. <laughs> Alright, but I do take him down at the very least, which is what I really wanted to do. Uh, yeah, fuck. I don't think I can win this, because my nectar comes in, that's fine. Uh, I can't fake him out, obviously. Well, I don't have fake it on the set, but just quick high jump kick, because it doesn't really matter. 
Uh, if he goes into Scrafty, boo fucking who? I mean, obviously, I have to go into Smagius if he goes into Scrafty. But if he goes into Tangrowth, I mean, I'm gonna probably have to do that too. So, no matter what, I'm probably going into Miss Magius. Um, I want to try and preserve that Choice Scarf for as long as possible. So, what I'm gonna have to do. I I'm really hoping he goes into Scrafty, and then I could be okay. Because, I mean. If I have the Choice Scarf, this Midnight Trick is going to be a lot easier to handle. I really wish this Metagross had an Assault Vest, honestly, but oh well. Okay, so this made this a whole lot easier. Because I can go into Miss Magius right here. Hit him with the Dazzling Gleam. And that will take him the fuck down. Now if Tangrowth wants to come in, I'm trying to think how I can... Midnight Trick comes in. I know I can live one hit. So I might as well hit him with the Dazzling Gleam, see what he wants to do next. Which is Volt Switch. That's fine. Hmm. I'm gonna have to go into Metagross. Reason being is that, you know, I can't do enough damage with Dazzling Gleam. I know I can't. So, we're just gonna hit him with the Mash right here. And I miss. And he puts me to sleep. Whatever. Leech Seed, sure. He's probably gonna go back out to the uh, thingy right there, so. Infestation. Right, I'm gonna have to trick him right here. And then. Oh shit, that's right, sleep turns were set. Fuck! I kinda just screwed myself right there. Yeah, I'm fucked. Yeah, I'm honestly fucked, because I forgot sleep turns were set again, so now Metagross, because I needed Metagross at a decent, er, to be able to wake up soon, otherwise I was fucked, but uh, I mean, yeah, he's prob he's got it at this point, because there's no way I can play around it properly, so yeah, because I fucked up with my uh, Forgies plus... Just letting Nito can get hit down so much, that's what really screwed me over, so, uh, yeah. Oh well. But we're gonna go with Metagross right here, because Crobat's pretty obvious, except I didn't see the Crookedow, because I'm bad at this game. Uh, problem is, yeah, I, I kind of have to switch out. Taunts me, sure, that's fine, I can still just Moonblast. I mean, he's most likely switching, but fuck it, I don't care that much. Still does a pretty good chunk, so no reason to complain yet. But we're going to Blast Switch just because I can take any hit, except if he crits me. But oh fucking well. Just go for the skull, just get some damage off, because it seems like a good idea. Plus burning shit is always nice, right? Right? Yeah, it is. Don't even deny. You know. I know you know. But Empoleon is in. I can't do much to it. But at the same time, I see no leftover, so I think I'm gonna roar. Yeah, I mean, he had Life Orb close enough, right? <laughs> but uh, me and Jess seems like a good idea. Because I can just go for knockoff, predicting a switch. Because honestly, there's no reason he's staying in. And I was right. Hit the Crobat, won't kill him, but it'll still do a substantial amount. I unfortunately have nothing to really bring into it, so I'm just going to have to go into Metagross right here. And if he tries something, which is Roost, that's fine. Uh, he could taunt, but I don't think he will. So let's go for Rocks. Yeah, he just goes for U-Turn, which is fine. Um, I mean, yeah, he's got technically two spinners on his team, because he's got the Crobat and he's got the Blastoise. Honestly, I just don't really... I'm not a huge fan of the structure of this team, I should just say right now, but... Oh well. Don't miss Magius, though, because that seems like the best idea I really got. Yeah, I mean, I took the Rapid Spin at the very least, but we'll just go for Energy Ball to get some damage off. I don't really... I mean, I would like to preserve his Magius, but I needed the damage. Uh, but now I can go in and... Well... Mianxiao is probably my best choice. And the thing is, he... 
he knows I predicted last time, so right now high jump kick is the best play, but what? It really seems like his best play was to just let me hit the last choice predicting knockoff, but oh well. Uh, I gotta go back into Metagross, because I mean, the chance of Brave Bird is really low, but I can't really risk it yet, so I'm just gonna have to go for Meteor Mash. Hit whatever wants to come in, if anything does. And yeah, Blastoise comes in. My Miss Magius is dead, so he does have the free opportunity to spin if he wants to. So he'll probably just take it up there. I probably should have just laid up rocks again, but getting Blastoise out of the way is nice. Uh, I gotta figure out how to play around that Crocodile. Well, Crocodile's not even the concern. And then, honestly, I have no way to deal with Victini either, so I'm just gonna have to let Metagross die. Uh, yeah, I'm bad at this game and I know it, but it's just, when you don't have a team that really works for how you play, it's like, eh. But we'll just go into Nita King and just Ice Beam. Because I doubt he, well, he could stay in, but I don't really care about Crobat that much anyways if it wants to come in, because he has nothing to really hit me with with it. And yeah, he outsped me anyways, so, because he was scarfed. Yeah, I lost it. I lost this one too. Uh, let's get another one. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's just, when a team doesn't work for my playstyle, which, it's just, I don't know, I don't really like it as much, it's, I don't know, it's weird for me, it doesn't really cover stuff like I like to cover stuff, so, that's how it is, you know, everyone plays differently, but I'm gonna leave it to Miss Magius, because he could leave it to Victini, which I was right. Uh, I'm just gonna Shadow Ball, try and get as much damage off as possible, he's probably just gonna revenge me with V-Create, but, oh well, that's how it goes, because I'm bad at this game. This is a really 4th gen team he's playing besides the, uh, Victini, but fuck you, because he turns on Battle Timer, just because I take a fucking 5 seconds to think. Whatever, I'm just gonna Scald, it's the best move I can do right now, unfortunately. I mean... I can do other stuff, but I don't want to do other stuff. Yeah, I realize this this team right here, I don't know. The, the moment I say it doesn't have a effective way to deal with Blastoise, I'll probably get people who are like, oh, you're just bad at this game, and I am, but I don't know. It's like, there's no, I don't know. It seems like it's kind of Blastoise-y weak, but that might just be me, because I'm bad, but I don't know. That's one thing I don't really like about it, but, you know, teams work for other people, so, meh. But anyway, Celebi's in, and uh, just went to Metagross for safety purposes. Then he goes back into Blastoise, which I lost my uh, Rapid Spinner, so that kind of sucks. Uh, I'm just going to have to go into Forgies, because even if he spins, I'm just going to have to try and play it as defensively as possible right now. Which he does spin, and yeah, a lot of people are using Mega Blastoise now, it seems like. Just go for Moonblast to try and hit it a little bit. This thing is actually not too bad of speed, so that's kind of cool. My room is really fucking hot, and it's kind of annoying the shit out of me. Why he went to Heracross, I'm not sure, but that's fine. I'm just going to protect to see what he's going to go for. Well, he can make it up, but uh, I think I resist bugs. I don't know why he went to Heracross. And he fucking crits me, so that's great. I mean, I probably should have wished, but I love crits, and then he just left. Okay, let's get one more game, and not completely suck at this shit. And a lot of people are going to bitch at me, probably, and be like, Hey, why are you just bitching about the team if you just suck yourself? It's just, if a team doesn't work for you, a team doesn't work for you. That's how it goes. Not everyone plays with every single fucking team in the universe, but he turned on the battle timer, so fuck him. I'm sorry, I like to think a little bit. Whatever, just go with Metagross, I don't really care what he goes with. He goes with Galvantula, though. And, uh, I'm just getting out of rocks while he gets up Sticky Web. I mean, I have Levitate on Miss Magius, so the only thing I really care about speed-wise already, uh, avoids it, so that's fine. Uh, just gonna go for Earthquake to hit this thing as best as possible. He hits me with a Crit Thunder, so that's amazing. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to kill him with another move, so whatever. Uh, let's see, he'll have Volt Switch... No, I'll have Thunder, Bug Buzz, something else I don't care about. So it is going to Nido King for safety purposes. I mean, yeah, Bug Buzz was obvious, but it, it seems like a good idea just to go to Nido King. Yeah, because I can take another Bug Buzz, and I can just revenge him. 
And honestly, looking at his team, Nido King isn't gonna be that important because yeah, he can just go into Doug Trio right here and just revenge me. So but he goes into Durant. Let's see. How do I fucking deal? Durant going to Nido King. Or not Nido King, Blastoise. I can't fucking know anything. What? Oh, okay. That's interesting. Not that I care that much. Now your Porygon has... Oh, it's Analytic Porygon. Okay. Um... I might as well stay in for a turn and see what he's gonna do. He just goes for Charge Beam. That's fine. Uh... But now I should probably switch. I don't really know what to switch out to, because the problem is... I mean, I saw him go for one Charge Beam. That doesn't really tell me much, and doesn't really tell me he's gonna go for again, so Metagross actually seems like a good idea. But, uh, he just went for another Charge Beam. I mean, he is most likely an Analytic Porygon, so going in Nita King right here isn't a bad idea, because I should be able to hit him down with an Earth Power. Actually, I go for Sludge Wave in case, uh, he does something weird. Well, not really weird, but in case he wants to go out to, let's say, Natu predicting the Earth Power. But I think Sludge Wave does more anyways than Earth Power. But I'm not sure. Because I'm terrible. Alright, Kingdra comes in. Let's see. Sludge Wave, Earth Power. Okay, Sludge Wave does more than Earth Power. Good to know! I should have known that sooner! But whatever. Uh, Kingdra. Alright, let's go to Florgies. And we'll just hit him with a fucking Moon Blast. And if he goes out to the Durant, I really don't care that much. Focus Energy, sure. And I lowered his special attack, so that works too. Alright, he's probably gonna just try and actually attack me, so I might as well protect her here, see what he's gonna do. Any ice beams. Okay. Surf is gonna do more than ice beams, so I don't know why. Anything. But also his special attack is minus. And he, yeah, even though he crits me, it does nothing, because. Yeah, that 344 uninvested special defense. Pretty good. Pretty goddamn good. But Durant comes in. I, I know he's gonna go for the entertainment right here, which, I mean, he had no reason not to. Um, I'm just gonna wish right here. Good thing is he still will get that Truant turn. Uh, Zatu comes in, I don't really care about it, but I have to find a way to still deal with it. Which actually, I, I'll be able to deal with it just fine because I have this Magius. I just gotta get a free switch into it. Actually, shit, now I don't have a way to deal with it as effectively. I mean, I'm just gonna go for Moonblast because that seems like a good idea. See, nothing is status, right? Right. Oh, shit, I just realized because not to... Shit. Alright, I'm gonna go to Mian Shao right here because... I have to hope he might outspeed... Okay, Confuse Rays. I'm gonna hope that Mian Xiao might outspeed and he's not running max speed, but he is, so. However, because he isn't that boosted, I can still hit him with the Shadow Ball and take him out. So wait, he's Calm Mind, Confuse Ray, Dazzling Gleam, and probably Roost, so. I mean, if he Roosted there, he could have had game when I switched, but oh well. Uh, we'll just Shadow Ball him just to hit the Durant. What? I'm Choice Scarfed, though. How did he outspeed me? Unless. Does Entertainment have priority? I guess so, but Doug Trio comes in, I actually can't switch because, oh wait, can I? I guess I can, even with uh, entertainment like that. Alright, so he's just gonna home cause, that's fine. I don't know. I don't know how moves work in Pokemon. Oh, okay, so it let me still switch even though I'd love it to, I don't know. I don't fucking know, but just kill the Doug Trio because fuck the Doug Trio and uh, yeah, I think that we'll call that a uh, session of live showdown because I don't think people need to see me be more bad anymore. So, uh, yeah. If you guys got more teams to send me, feel free to send them to me. It's just, I'm I'm, I'm probably not going to use them well because, yeah, I'm not good at using other people's teams that well unless they, like, really somehow fit my playstyle, which is really weird in itself. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Whatever. It's a good team. It's just not fit for me. So, yeah. But anyways, uh, that'll be for this, so hope you guys enjoyed, such, such, blah, recommend sub, and later guys.